Welcome to the backside of the famous Gundam statue in Odaiba. Look at this thing. How you doing everybody? I'm here in front of Diver Cities in, in uh, Odaiba here in Tokyo. And I, I came here by bicycle and was just completely shocked. Where is everybody? What? This is one of the most, the biggest tourist attractions in the city of Tokyo. A life-size Gondom mobile suit that you could climb in and fly away. Debatable. And there's not a soul in sight. I've never been here where there's nobody watching. No one's taking pictures or standing here. It's surreal to me. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Michael Mark Mart. Mark Ward, welcome as a traveler. Look at this, right? And the people that are here, they like work here. Even the Gondam Cafe is so silent. Look. There's nobody there. There's our bicycles. And I'm gonna introduce you to a special guest this morning who's also riding with me for a little bit. But I, I just, during this pandemic, I really wanted to just bring you here for like 10 minutes because we got to go. We're going to be riding across the Rainbow Bridge uh, for a video that a friend of mine is making that I'm helping out with. But just just I want you all to absorb this because not often will you come to Tokyo and, and see this site. Not a soul. Hey, Shortcut, hey. Been a while to catch it live. Great to get a uh, look outside, to get out, looking great, thank you. Have my uh, government issued mask, just in case. We're gonna go inside now. I, I just, I just, I thought this was like a historical thing. Um, this is the Gondam statue and it, and it says that the shows still are taking place despite no people every two hours, which is so sad. We came here at the end of the one at 11 o'clock. Oh, there's, there's a kid. Sugokunai. All right, let's. I want to show you a little bit inside of Diver City Shopping Mall and show you how empty it is. And welcome, Shokatsi, to a membership. I guess you you enter the mobile suit from the leg, maybe. Whoosh. All right, check it out. Hey, Greg, I think I'm behind you. Oh, that wasn't him. I think he's looking for me inside. That's our guest. How you doing? You can see me in the reflected in the window. Just look at how empty it is. It's kind of a historical thing. This is really crazy, right? And look what they've done here with the tables. So you can't sit next to each other. You have to, you can't sit at this seat is what it means. So there's space between the seatings. Everybody stays safe if there's distancing. Not everybody is actually uh, applying to that, but I thought that was super interesting. And there's the Hanamata people getting udon over there. Hey, Bradshaw Studio, Carl's Jr. And you can see up there, the shops are so quiet. Not a soul on the escalator. It's pretty lonely. There he is. 
How you doing? What did you get? You did not buy a tapioca drink. They're so out of style. What? This one's good. Look at the picture. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is uh, Greg from Life Where I'm From. He looks like a bandit. He's a bandit. Oh, your wife did that? Kanai's gonna give me a haircut later. Nice. So finally, did, finally. Finally? <laughs> Why is it that bad? Uh, is it, uh, I don't know, is it noticeable? Everyone what? can see, it's pretty horrible. That's what the hat is for. Yeah. So did you pay for that drink with your bandit mask on or did they just say walk away? No, they said stay two meters away. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Good. So what are you doing today, Greg? You wanna tell everybody? I'm biking all around Tokyo. Mm. From the east side, yeah, with Edogawa, where it hits Chiba, all the way to the west side, uh, where it hits Kanagawa. So that's Tamagawa. Tamagawa to the yeah. Edogawa. Yeah, like there and back again. So it's about 100 kilometers. Whoa! So, and I'm joining you for like five kilometers. You're just joining me for the eating part of it. That's it. Is and that it? That's right. I got to go back part, home. That's it. All right. <laughs> I'm just here for a very short portion of Greg's trip, but it's a lot of fun. I guess we could try to do the Rainbow Bridge. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm going across. If, if you have time, I don't think you have time. I think you can, like, I got, escort me to it. What time is it? I don't, uh, See, you're like me. My watch is my phone. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Uh, 11.40. I got an hour and 20 minutes. But you're going to... I guess we could just go for it. Do you need to go around Odaiba a little bit more? Or can we just go for it? Uh, yeah, we can go for it. Sure. I mean, if I'm, like, five minutes late to the meeting, that's okay, right? Can I... Can I, are you watching? I'll be back on time, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes she's watching. So I'm trying to stay socially distant. <laughs> she's, yeah. yeah. We're, we don't want to get anybody sick. Although we're probably okay, but you never know. You never know. All right, cool. Let's get on the road then. Um, I'm just going to end this live stream. I, this is Greg's time. I'm here for Greg. So we're going to, I just wanted to bring you this experience here. How you doing, Greg, the last couple of weeks? Uh, just editing like crazy, that coronavirus video. All right. Um, that was a long, long video. The coronavirus video he just put up there. One. You're going to be in the next one. I'm in the next, I'm in the next yeah. video. Awesome. I'm going to be on Life Where I'm From. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Long time listener, first time caller. You got to say that. All right. But um, yeah, at the video that Greg put out there about what, three days ago on the timeline of the uh, COVID-19 is amazing. It really lays out from the beginning, which was January 29th, 16th. about January 16th. It's amazingly long. Yes, nothing really happened for that first month. Although you all know that I started doing these live streams around the uh, January 20th when the first cases started hitting and people were really worried about canceling a trip. And this, I made this like a coronavirus channel. It's true. All right, folks, so, absorb this, okay? I gotta make this at least 10 minutes, Greg, because. An eight minute live stream would anger people. I think some people. It's okay, I have to drink my uh, bubble tea. Oh, Raymond Centeno. I don't recall seeing Diver City or Odaiba so empty. Neither have I. I, I it's empty. It is. I, I took the camera back here just to absorb how crazy this is right now. Irvine is in the house. Hey, Greg. Wish you made more video. <laughs> They're all awesome. <laughs> yeah. To... Okay, so your kids are in school, so that makes sense. Yeah, it's if you have a family, being in this pandemic is not exactly the ideal situation. Greg, you look so small compared to Gundam. He could just pick you up and squeeze you with love. And slightly taller, yeah. Greg said it's a bit taller. You want to do a dance? I won't. No one's watching. You can dance if you want. It's cool. You can do it. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> now this this is Odaiba. On the other side is um, what's the name of that shopping mall over there near the Statue of Liberty? Ah, uh, Aqua 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 City. Aqua City. Aqua City. This is Diver City. This is Diver City. This is kind of a newer one. There's a round one up there, but a lot of the shops are still kind of closed. Some of them have reopened. It is a Monday. Kids are back at school. Uh, people are back at work. But that's why no one's really in this leisure land called Odaiba. This is a date spot. Oedo Onsen is over there. 
Rainbow Bridge is that way. And if you want to cross the Rainbow Bridge, you can watch Greg's video in a month or just go to my live stream, which is available right now. <laughs> yeah, it's on the, I already, I already crossed it with the, on the Go channel. Yeah. This bubble tea ain't that great. It's not that good? But it's, the one I went to buy my place is really good. I'm surprised. This one's like, bleh. I think they just reopened these shops so that probably the tapioca has been sitting there for a couple of months. But I mean, thanks like for supporting like small businesses. Tea Craftworks is what it's called. I thought they would, I don't know. Tea Craftworks? It's know. creative marketing. I, I, do th I, do, I do think that they're really happy to see people again. And some of them, I'm sure, are quite worried to be starting jobs. We had one viewer who, who in, in Belgium, was ordered to go back to work. And these people are essential workers and have to be on the front line. So uh, respect to those that are out there um, serving us. Hungry bike riders. Yeah. It is a nice day. It's going to be about 30 degrees Celsius, which is... Um, Hot hot and Warm. sweaty it's just it's it's just cool enough where i could still wear wool hats to, to 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 hold down the fort it's it's awful i think we're gonna do the the haircut this week in the next couple of days please please <laughs> i'm polluting i'm polluting people's views i guess so hat hair yeah so there you go everybody this is just a, a little slice of life from here and it's nice uh see that greg by the way no drones here all right i'm talking to you person with drone. Jeff Ang, Diver City, Missing Japan. It's a shame that a lot of people couldn't, had to cancel their trips uh, in March, in April, May, June, July, August. We'll talk about September in a couple of months. When do you think it's going to open up? July. Ju really? To foreign tourists? July? I don't know. Business people will be pretty soon, actually, though. They're already planning on it. They're doing stuff with New Zealand, Australia, I think Singapore, Taiwan. Yeah. You don't usually wear your hair this short, do you? Mm, right when I get it cut, it can be this short, but no, it's a little bit longer usually. But we only have a shaver to work with, so what can you do? Uh, you can don't this do this. Second time cutting hair. Really? Yeah. I, I bought clippers in March and I just never use it because when I say, Kanai, it's time to cut my hair, she opens her eye and goes, yes, it's time to cut John's hair. And I decide to, all right, let's wait a little while. My wife was excited as well. I don't know why. But why? Just... Yeah, I know. Why are wives so excited to cut people's hair? I don't know. To cut our hair, husband's hair. So is this a form of revenge? Do they think it hurts us? If we cut, will we bleed? No. Depends where you cut and where you bleed. Yeah, I got a meeting at 1 p.m. So I got to get back uh, home. <laughs> but I, how could I not? How could I not come out and support uh, Greg's video? I didn't want you to be lonely out here, Greg. It's all good. I'm fine. You sure? Cause <laughs> it's just you and Gondom. I, you never know what's gonna happen. It's pretty creepy out here. All right, guys, have a good day. Have a good night, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a member. I'm going to do a video on the memberships as soon as I can, but for obvious reasons, it might not be like for a little while. At least not today. The people are angry, like, I just got here. <laughs> I got to get to work. Bye.